Yes, hi there, Victor Pross speaking to you, anarchist artist. Okay, today I just wanted to do a relatively short video, I guess, to talk about the uh, the debate that I had with uh, limited government objectivist uh, Wayne Simmons. And um, there was one section of the video that, uh, or of uh, during the debate that, uh, mm, you know, kind of got to me. I didn't really res have had the time or opportunity to uh, really respond to it, but I'd like to do that now. And that was this, this whole idea, as a criticism being hurled towards the obje the uh, the anarchists, is that we are people who want to um, destroy objectivity, you know, and uh, that we're frothing at the mouth subjectivists, and that's what we're trying uh, to uh, inflict into the uh, into the world into society is this um, subjectivist deuces wild anti objectivity stance that we have supposedly have and uh, that comes out in different ways um, sometimes like for example it's said that the anarchist is a person who isn't acting from any moral standard but is like this uh, subjectivist pragmatist who's arguing for competition. I mean, that's our standard of value. We, we want competition. And uh, this whole idea of a monopolized government, uh, you know, uh, rubs up against the grain of that. Uh, you know, like, because competition, you see, is the standard of value here. That's, that's where we're coming from. That is the, the uh, omega. <laughs> The Alpha and the Omega, that is the pedestal to which uh, we bow before is uh, competition, you see. So it's not just competition in the market of offering the provision of uh, justice services and arbitration and conflict resolution, whatever uh, you want to call it. Uh, not only in competition in that, but you see it, it's worse than that, as if that wasn't bad enough, you see. But it's worse than that, you see, we want competition in... Uh, in epistemology, we want uh, competition in conceptions, whereas we're, there is no objective way to define um, uh, initiatory violence and distinguishing that from from relative uh, from um, retaliation, uh, re uh, initiatory violence versus uh, retaliation or self-defense or uh, or the initiation of violence. See, all of this is subjective. You see. There, nobody can really say what force is, and uh, or you know, oh, I have my own idea what the, what force means. You might have something else. Uh, we we can't. We don't want to be dogmatic now. Uh, we, you know, uh, this it's uh, it's fascistic to claim any kind of objectivity. You see, so uh, we're going to be good people, and we'll we'll advocate subject for subjectivism. Might not be right for me, but it could be all right. Could be okay for you. Uh, you like that definition of force, uh, uh, Mr. Environmentalist, that humanity is is uh, is uh, raping the world and there's intrinsic value in nature, independent of, of uh, any human beneficiaries? Yeah, if, uh, if that's your idea of force, Mr. Environmental uh, Wacko, now you're with us because you, you know, you're against force, so, but that's your subjective definition, you're okay to have it. You know, but just these, this frothing at the mouth, anti-objectivity, uh, 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 pro-deuces, uh, emotional, whim-worship, wild, crazy, subjective, anything-goes approach. That's what we're all about. This is bullshit. This is just complete, dishonest fucking bullshit when this comes from the objectivist or the uh, all-around us limited government advocate, mostly from objectivists. Okay, now, uh, first of all, Bullshit. <laughs> Bullshit, man. Of course we know the fucking difference between initiatory violence and uh, retaliatory uh, self-defense, for Christ's sakes. You know, uh, force comes in many different ways. Uh, rape, you have uh, uh, assault, you have murder, you have theft, uh, you have fraud, which is an indirect use of uh, physical force. But physical force... The objective, that, or rather, the uh, the anarchist is in quite agreement, whether they know it or not, with the Ayn Rand understanding and definition of initiatory violence. There, it is a factual base in objective reality. 
and <laughs> what constitutes force and what is self-defense for Christ's sakes. Okay, no, we're not confused and lost on this fucking matter, and no, we're not looking to fucking uh, uh, compete uh, in the epistemological round of these conceptions of these terms for Christ's sakes. Yeah, competition. We want open market competition. Uh, fuck, it's just it's just bullshit. Now, in the regards of uh, wanting to place force in the market as is leveled by uh, the uh, limited government advocates and leveled against the anarchists is that we want to place force on the market. Let's get that force on the market. Well, first of all, this is very misleading. That's not the standard of value that's being applied here. What the anarchist seeks, in fact, is to open protection of individual rights, arbitration, of disputes and judgment of wrongdoing to any person or persons who may choose to offer these services. Okay? And further, to allow anybody who wishes to avail themselves of these services should be free to do so. First of all, placing aside the objectivist, utilitarian, uh, uh, pragmatic uh, objections against this, let's just go back to principle. Yeah, principles. There's a concept for objectivist principles. We know the difference between initiatory violence. Now, this the a group of thugs coming along and preventing these two groups of people or, or groups of human beings coming together, wanting to interact with one another and trade and uh, the offer uh, services and uh, goods on a free market should be free to do so. And that also includes, along with toothpaste, fucking cars, uh, 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 computers and shoelaces and everything on the market should be all should also be free to to offer services and arbitration and, and uh, justice services and etc. Okay, so uh, to prevent these human beings from interacting one another and coming along with your little fucking label that says I'm from the government, so I have oppositional superior uh, rights over you. You see, because I'm from the government. So we have the right to tell you guys how you can interact with one another, and if you don't, we're gonna uh, we'll pull up the fucking guns and we'll be in the moral legitimacy to do so because we're the fucking government. Okay, it's a fairy tale fucking institution. Wake the fuck up, okay? And that's one thing that the objectivists will just not fucking own up to is that to have a government, you ha it has to be initiatory. It has to initiate violence against innocent people violating individual rights in which ironically in bizarro land that they've been sworn to be the defenders of. Of course it's fucking ridiculous. Of course it's fucking intellectual insanity and anarchists are the type of people who have finally have seen that where this logical consistency has occurred to them. It fucking went into their fucking brains and they are living their lives accordingly and they're upholding these principles and they're making them very clear and uh, it's the small government advocate and the objectivists that are fucking out to lunch and uh, they're buying into a whole fucking cult and of course that exactly is what the, uh, the, 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 uh, the government is all about, that's what the state about is all about. It's a massive leviathan cult that engulfs an entire geographical area. Not, so you don't have to go to the mountains or go out into the woods to find some kind of Jim Jones cult. Your entire Fucking culture is a cult. Anyway, that's enough. Victor Pross signing out. Thank you for listening, anarchist artists. And do subscribe to this video and post it on your Facebook. Why the fuck not? Thank you.